Hi all, Alex here, with a custom animation tutorial. I'm no expert, and there may be way better methods of doing this, but this is fast, and it works, just how I like things. Firstly, you'll need the following tools. Number one, the latest version of S3PE. Number two, Wes Howe's Anim tool. Number three, the adult bodies mesh and rig file. Number four, milk shape. Number five, CMO money's pose player to trigger the animation. Right folks, let's get started. First create a folder, maybe call it animations or something along those lines. And extract the anim tool, adult bodies, mesh and rig file to that folder. Here's one I made earlier. Copy the Sims 3 full build zero package to the same folder. Makes things a bit faster and a bit easier. Run S3PE, then open the newly copied full build zero package file. Set this to display the name and tag of the files. This makes finding files and file types much simpler. Scroll down and find which are the clip files. Notice the weird prefixes in their names. Click on one of the clip files. I've chosen the Party Animal Accept clip. Now head to the main menu bar and click on Resource. Select Export and Rename option. Change the name keeping the prefix and the underscore. This name is what you'll use to trigger the new animation. Save this file in the work folder where AnimTool is located. Once that's done, open AnimTool and click on the Clip to SMD option. Navigate to your extracted clip, which has the dot .animation extension, and then click Open. A pop-up message will appear. When prompted, navigate to the rig file which came with the adult body mesh. This is simply a text file. You should receive a no errors message if the conversion has been successful. Close anim tool and open milk shape. Open the adult body file which came with the rig. It has an MS3D file extension. You get a few errors, but just click OK. The mesh will look really weird until you change the joint size to 0 0.0006. There you go. All done. The next step is to use the import function and import the SMD clip. Just click OK here. No need to append the animation to the end. Click on the animation button. You'll see the tools with keyframes and a timeline. Click on the play icon and the animation should play. Now the fun starts. I always delete all the original keyframes to make my own animations. This is how you do this. Notice how the animation has now disappeared. You have a clean template to work with. 
Once done, go to the first frame and set a simple idle pose. Something like this. Now set the keyframe. If you forget to set the keyframe, you'll lose all your hard work. Copy this first keyframe and move the slider to the end. Paste the keyframe here and set the keyframe. This will give your animation a smooth, symmetrical start and end. Sometimes you don't want the animation to finish in the same pose as the start, so only do this if applicable. Move the slider a few frames forward from the start. Experiment with moving various bones. The rotate action is mainly used for the bones manipulation. Some giants work best set to origin and local, such as the forearms and other small joints. Once done, set the keyframe. You can always add more moves to the keyframe. Just set the keyframe each time you make a change. When a keyframe is set, the mesh shows up in yellow. Unfortunately, the lower body works very differently due to the IK chains. I prefer keeping these chains as they result in smoother, more natural animation. The feet positions are governed by the left and right foot offset bones. These are moved, not rotated. They define the position of each foot in relation to the weld. To get a sim to lift his left leg, you simply move the left foot offset to where you want the foot to end up. And that's it. No messing around with thigh or knee joints. However, bear in mind how the human body works. Raising a leg will not only raise the foot in one plane, for instance upwards, but forwards too. Try it with your own foot and think about the path of motion. The amount of knee bend is determined by the foot position. Unfortunately, there isn't a way to see this in milk shape, but you can always set it up the normal way by moving the legs to use as a guideline. They won't show up in the game though. You must set the foot offsets to actually have the legs move in game. 
The other important offset bone is the world offset. This determines where the center of the sim is in relationship to the weld. To make a sim bend his knees, follow these steps. The center of the sim is now lower to the ground, but the left and right foot weld bones must be raised up to the ankle joint level. Otherwise the sim melds into the floor. Once done, save your file. Don't forget to click out of animation mode first. Milkshape will luckily prompt you if you forget like I do. You can go back and edit your animation at any time. Export your animation as an SMD overriding the original SMD file. Always export this as a sequence. Open Anim Tool. This time select SMD to clip. Find your SMD file and click open. You should get a no error message. Close Anim Tool and open S3PE. Go to the file menu, then new to make a new file. Click on the resource menu option and import from file. Find the file with the dot animation extension and click open. You'll get a pop-up screen with some info. Don't change anything and click OK. Save this as a package using the file menu. I'd recommend giving the package file the same name as the clip. For instance, A2A underscore test animation. This is the name that you will use to trigger it in the pose player. It makes the custom animations easier to keep track of, especially if you make several of them. Copy the package file to your mods packages folder in the game. Load up the game and use pose player to trigger the animation by typing in the name, including the prefix. And that's it. Have fun.